Nigeria since independence is yet to record equal participation of women in the governance process at all levels. The proportion of women in both elective and appointive positions in Nigeria has remained low, despite the 2006 National Gender Policy and the various regional and international instruments that the government has signed on to. Which is why Nigerian women and other critical stakeholders have continued to mobilize and strategize to seek interpretation of the 1999 constitution as amended with the sole objective of getting legal backing for a deliberate inclusive governance in Nigeria. Some women groups, civil society organizations and other stakeholders had on the 2nd of December 2020 on under the ages of the legal strategy team went ahead to seek constitutional clarifications on the position of the law concerning the inclusion of women in the country's democratic process. The case filed by a coalition of over 100 women organizations seeking the federal government to implement the 35% affirmative action has President Mohamedou Buhari and the Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakr Malami, as defendant. The hearing, which was scheduled for today, November 24th, at the Federal High Court Mitama Abuja, did not hold. The case filed by Nigerian women seeking compliance on anti discriminatory provisions of the Nigerian constitution and entrenching gender equality in Nigeria was initially adjourned on 29 September 2021 to November 24, 2021, before it was further adjourned again because the judge, Honorable Justice Okorowo, was away on an official assignment. The relief sought by the plaintiffs as follows. A declaration that the failure of the first defendant to implement the 35% affirmative action policy of the federal government of Nigeria is illegal, unlawful, null, and an arbitrary violation of the National Gender Policy 2006. An injunction restraining the first defendant from further exercising the constitutional and statutory power of appointment in a manner violative of the 35% affirmative action policy of the federal government of Nigeria, as contained in the National Gender Policy 2006 and others. Some of the names of the cooperative organization on behalf of Nigerian women and critical stakeholders are Nigerian Women Trust Fund, Women Empowerment and Legal Aid, Women in Politics Forum, Center for Democracy and Development, Women Advocates Research and Documentation Center, Vision Spring Initiatives, Yaga Africa, International Federation of Women Lawyers, amongst others. Nenyu Mazaka, Liberty News.